Monday, everyone. Hi there, it's Kimberly Beer with one thing you can do this week to move your business forward as far as marketing is concerned. Today, I want to talk to you um, specifically about YouTube. There's been a couple of changes, mostly just just where things are at changes in YouTube here lately. And if you haven't been on your new ch YouTube channel recently, um, you may get a little confused when you jump in there. If you don't currently have a YouTube channel, I'd like to sit, get you to stay tuned for the things that I'm gonna show you because I think that it will give you, maybe demystify a little bit about how to create a YouTube channel. And so if you haven't done it, then stay tuned, watch on with us and, and kind of see. And if you do have a YouTube channel and you haven't been logged in really recently, like within the last few weeks, um, chances are there's some things that have moved around. The very first thing that's moved is you used to be able to get to your channel over here on the left-hand side of the page. And you used to be able to get to it from this hamburger menu over here, which now just turns off this um, left hand stage thing. So it, they've sneakily moved it over here underneath your picture and if you click on your picture you can go to your channel or to your creator studio. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my channel because I want to want you to see when you're at your channel now you have two really nice big blue buttons here. One lets you customize the look and feel of your channel and the other one lets you go to the Creator Studio. So we're going to pop over to the Creator Studio here in a moment and I want to show you two things inside the Creator Studio that really haven't moved but you need to be aware of and if you're not utilizing them um, then, then this week is the week that you need to maybe address that. Um, if you ha don't have a YouTube channel set up and you've maybe uploaded a few videos to YouTube but you haven't really done much with it, then you probably should set your channel up. If it's something that you're thinking of doing, get a couple of videos ready to go and then upload them and get your channel started. It's, it's a little disconcerting to new people to pop by a YouTube channel and there not be any videos. So I don't know if it's necessary for you to create a YouTube channel if you don't have videos already ready. But if you do, even a couple, it's, it's a good idea to, to get your channel art together, fill out all the information that is involved with your channel. And you're gonna find that here under Customize Channel. Now it lets you put up a featured video, it lets you put up featured playlist. Um, for example, my channel is structured so that you do see a featured video. That's the video that, that if you come to my channel as a new subscriber or a returning subscriber, that's going to be the first thing you see. Then I do have a couple of playlists set up. Make It Happen Monday is one. So these episodes of Make It Happen Monday they are released to a general YouTube audience after about a month. So you guys get them first in email and then they'll appear on YouTube. So if you're watching it on YouTube, you could have missed the advertising and gotten this about a month ago if you were subscribed to Make It Happen Monday, which coincidentally you can do through MakeItHappenMonday.com. With that said, that's just a playlist and it'll it starts back um, you know, even back to the first of the year, um, these videos will start back. So you can go back and watch one if you've missed it. Um, and if you weren't subscribed back in January, the videos from back in January are on here as well. There's also Coffee with My Muse, which is a little bit more in depth series of training that talks about um, creating actual physical um, graphics using Lightroom and Photoshop for marketing. Again, uh, and then there's also webinars and stuff that I've done. I'll let you go hunt around my YouTube channel. It's not, this is not a commercial for me, but to let you know how my channel is laid out. How your channel is laid out needs to match your business or your marketing or what it is that you're trying to do. So that is the very first part of creating a YouTube channel. If you don't have your cover art, which is these pretty horses up here, or you don't have your picture uploaded, or you don't have some basic information about your channel, it is a good idea to go get it done. Um, the other thing is I don't want you to get too hung up on subscribers. YouTube subscribers are hard to come by because you have to serve them. In other words, there has to be stuff that's being released. There has to be a reason for them to subscribe to you. So if you don't have a lot of subscribers to start off with, please don't let it deter you from publishing videos on YouTube because there's still a lot of value to having videos on YouTube even if people aren't subscribing to your channel. It's a little bit different than some other social networks where 
those videos can still work for you, even if people aren't necessarily following you. So don't get hung up on the level and the number of subscribers that you have. You do need to work on that. We've been working on it for about the past oh, seven or eight months, um, trying to get our YouTube subscribership built up. And we've acquired probably 300 subscribers here in the past few months. And although that doesn't sound like a tremendous amount in comparison to what maybe a Facebook page would have as far as followers, it's a lot and it is substantial. And the more you can get for subscribers, that is great. But again, don't let that number deter you from publishing videos because it takes a long time to build it up. All right, now that we've had that discussion, let's pop over to the Creator Studio. So inside the Creator Studio is where you get access to all the back room of your YouTube page or your YouTube channel. So here's where you'll be able to find your videos in the Video Manager. Now the Video Manager is where you can access your videos to work on the descriptions and things like that. So to do that, you all you have to do is get a video and click on Edit. So this was last week's um, Make It Happen Monday. And you can see we have a title when video are uploaded by the way their title is whatever they were titled in the software the file was titled so you do need to change that and then here we have um, information about this particular video when this video is released to the larger YouTube population there are going to be some things that happen to it one it's going to go from unlisted to public two it's going to be added to the make it happen Monday playlist three it's going to have some tags so that it can get found um, in YouTube and four we're going to monetize it which means we're going to add an ad to it now do we make a tremendous amount of income off of this absolutely not I mean I think we're still under three digits to be honest it takes a really long time I mean this is this is partial of pennies for an ad being displayed on your YouTube channel I have great hopes that somewhere in the next year or two that this is going to become, it's it, it's on our tarmac to become a bigger part of our business. And so hopefully that monetization will come through. Do you have to monetize videos on YouTube? Absolutely not. And I don't recommend it if you're using YouTube as a way to um, sell a product or service. In this case, education is our product and our service. And so we are going to start monetizing it more and more and more. This this video is unlisted. It was just sent out to my really small list. You guys are a very select community um, at this point in time of, of my community. I have separated you out kind of from, from a larger group of people and you have all bought in to make it happen Monday. And by the way, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. We're going to continue to get better and better with these. And over time, this is going to be an important part of my business. I foresee it being an important part of my business anyway. All right. So here in this area, you can also change your, you can create custom thumbnails, which we do for each one of these videos, um, which tells you what's in the video. And you can see that when you're looking at this little screen on YouTube, rather than just some random thumbnail from the video itself. So this page is really, really important for you to be able to uh, make the most out of of your YouTube videos. So first off, when you get into YouTube and you start producing videos, get to your video manager. The second thing I'd like to point out under the Creator Studio, and this is something that, oh, it's been out for a few months now, probably even closer to a year, but it's still something that is super important for you to check in, and it's something that people don't always click on. And it is all of the statuses and features and monetization settings and all of those things for your channel. And I recommend that you just click on channel and do a little bit of poking around and investigating here on this page. You can see the various things that you have have enabled or that are not enabled. So if your YouTube account is new, you're not going to be able to have a custom URL. You have to get, I think, 100 subscribers before you can have a custom URL. So YouTube rewards you as you go through the process and use it and upload stuff to it and don't run up against any copyright guidelines or any community guidelines. Um, and if you, you have little happy smiley faces like we do here, then that gets your YouTube channel that gets more and more features turned on over time. And those are our features that that will help you um, create better and better um, experiences for your subscribers and your followers. So get on there, click on channel, poke around, see what is going on 
on the back end of this to see what you're eligible for, what you have enabled, and what you don't have enabled. Because there could be some of these things that you could enable that would help you be able to grow your business better. For example, the longer video one. The longer video one is one that happens really quickly um, for a while, in, and it depends on the YouTube account. I've actually started client accounts that it didn't even matter anymore. But um, sometimes YouTube will restrict you to videos no longer than 15 minutes. In my business, that's a big deal. A lot of the trainings I do are at least an hour long. So in the beginning, way, way back in 2008, I'd have to break those those hour long videos up into episodes that people would have to go find the next episode and watch. So that wasn't always really convenient. So YouTube does reward you for good behavior. They reward you for um, subscribers. They reward you for a lot of things in this area. And so make sure you get here and check it out. You can also look at your monetization setting and to see if you have monetization enabled and you can learn about how to make money with your account. Again, you're not going to be retiring off of this until you get um, literally hundreds of thousands of YouTube subscribers. Once you start to get into the six digits and the seven digits for views and subscribers, then this starts to make you a substantial amount of money. But until then, it's really just a matter of getting your information out there, getting this set up, making sure it's worked, um, and that kind of thing. So I hope I've given you some information that you might want to go take a look at. I'm gonna pop back up here to my dashboard. Um, my dashboard, by the way, tells me how many views my videos have had, how many subscribers, um, and then the latest comments that I have seen on my videos. So, um, and if I have any questions. So those are, then those are ones that I can go back and answer. So I do have some comments coming in and I love comments on my videos. And I love questions on the videos. So if you have a question or a comment, please feel free to drop on by and take a look. See, my estimated revenue here within the last 28 days has been $7. Like I said, we're not retiring off of this right now. Later, there may be bigger things. So go investigate your YouTube channel, have a look around. Again, this doesn't have to be something where you have a lot of subscribers or you're making money off of it. YouTube actually brings me in clients and has made me a tremendous amount more than this estimated revenue I see here um, because it has really set me up as an authority and it gives me an opportunity to show people who I am before maybe they hire me as a speaker or a coach. So that always works out really well. So there's a lot you can do here. All right, go check out YouTube. If you have a YouTube channel, go poke around the new things in the video manager and the channel. Go click on some things, see what's there, see where things have rearranged and moved to. I don't think there's anything especially new, um, but things have shifted. And then investigate inside your own channel, how can you make that work better for your community and for your specific business? All right, have a great week and I'll see you next Monday.